I, I think the casting is not is not unlike any movie where you see as many people as you could, except with this, these were unknown people. So to get in touch with them, you don't necessarily call an agent or an agency. We're gonna, we're gonna put the word out, whether it be through social media, the internet, or however we did it. Um, it we, we cast a very wide net around the country. And we were really looking for new faces because I mean, part of the sell of this movie is that it's real and you don't know who these people are. So if we got them off a TV show, it wouldn't necessarily work in the same way. Yeah, it was amazing. It's 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 pretty much what I mean. It it was above my expectations. You know what I mean? It was like to sort of have a team like this on this movie, as your first movie, a Warner Brothers movie with Todd Phillips, Joel Silver. You know, it's just like, and it's every kind of kid's dream or a director's dream. Um, but yeah, it was amazing. It was an amazing experience, and I'm still sat here. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about an idea that didn't make it and that was clear. I mean, you know, I don't. This, it's hard because it's so long ago. We yeah, we had so many versions <laughs> of the script and we yeah. had so many meetings and we talked about it so much. It's yeah. really tough to... But it ultimately what exists becomes a real like compendium of a lot of people's ideas and a lot of people's thoughts on either what they went through or stories they've heard or experiences they've had. Exaggerated, of course, you know, times 10 for a movie. But, but yeah, it all becomes sort of one giant... Yeah, Story. it Weird. was great. It was a great period where everyone's like sending each other <laughs> emails, right. of like, "Oh, I heard about this." And you're like, oh, "What about that?" Yeah. yeah. That it was an amazing idea. It was such a tough process after we got the footage, but it was all worth it. It was basically like giving kids, allowing kids to to actually shoot some footage for us and, and that way I felt like it was just going to make our material just that much more authentic and um, it also made them feel like they were more part of the movie which was really important um, and yeah you know you're just always after that little gem that thing that you can't plan you know you, you, you're allowing them to just be themselves and that's all I wanted really from that. As soon as we put them together, I think because they were just so excited, they, they, they kind of got on naturally really well. Um, but we, we didn't really try to encourage it too much. We maybe sent them to Disneyland for a day or something like that to see if they actually will get on. Um, but I was finding out, like, you know, the weeks following that, like, that they're hanging out the weekends, they're chilling at each other's houses, they're going for dinner, they're going to watch movies, which made me really happy, actually. I mm -hmm. thought, God, there's nothing worse than pretending to be friends. And you see them now, you know, they're still hanging out. It's like yeah, they really have become really good friends. Yeah. For me, it was really important to set up an environment that kids can actually enjoy themselves. So, you know, it's make them, you know, forcing people to have fun is actually really hard. But allowing them to have fun in a, in a, in a safe, contained environment you know, and they got to know each other. These, these are people that are like spending seven weeks together, you know, all the extras, the actors even, you know, in, in, you know, interacting with all these new people. They were getting excited. So, you know, just have just music. Have some, have a DJ there and it's amazing. <laughs> <All right. laughs>